Two California conservatives launching a campaign known as New California, which would separate the California's rural and more conservative counties from its coastal and extreme liberal counties. The founders claiming California's quote, tyrannical form of government, mostly run by liberal elitists, motivated them to start this movement. With me now, Antonio Sabato, Jr., actor and California con congressional candidate, back with us as well, Gina Loudon. Antonio, let me start with you. Um, you know, we've heard these sort of things Hi, floated Charles. around. I remember there was uh, one Silicon Valley guy wanted his own state, you know, but California is such a different state. Uh, and you know, we all think of it as one big liberal place, but it's not. And a lot of people there feel like their views aren't being represented. And maybe this is an idea whose time has come. I think this is a great idea. We've got to keep fighting for our county. We need to fight for California. I'm here to win this election in November for the people of Ventura County, District 26, but also California. It's a beautiful state. We're allowing these liberals to, uh, to run our lives and running the state right into the water. Uh, we have the homelessness level. The percentage is the highest in the country. We have about a million people that have left the state of California in the last 10 years and never came back. These are people who own businesses, who really make this uh, state great, and they left. And we're allowing yeah. illegal immigrants to come here and use our taxpayer money, and we're protecting them. No, we got to protect the American people. I know this is honest, honest truth, and we got to tell the people that this has got to stop. We got to put America first, and we got to put the American people first. And that's why I'm fighting. That's why I'm going to win and go to Congress in November. Gina, I mean, you're, you're, you love California, but I think it became too much for you as well. Well, I love it, but well, the listen. governor passed two laws to make my husband illegal, so we had to leave. Uh, but, you know, I agree definitely with Antonio, my buddy, and uh, I would love to see California restored. The problem is, the way this is written, at least right now, it might allow two more very leftist senators to be seated, and we wouldn't want to see that in our, uh, in our Senate, certainly in the United States. But here's the thing, Charles, we have the negotiating president now, so I'm thinking maybe there's some sort of negotiation negotiation creatively that he can come up with to make this work, because I can't even imagine I, just thinking about my friends that are still there under tyranny, under Governor Brown, uh, and the thought of them being freed again, and just go ahead and put that cesspool of liberalism right where it belongs, and, uh, and, and, and watch how they will become Venezuela in short order. Right. Um, Charles, I don't think that's a bad idea at all. So if there were a way to make it work without the political fallout of additional senators that were so leftist, I think it would be a good thing. Well, you know, here, here's the thing, though. I mean, all, uh, Antonio, the message is pretty clear, though, that there are enough folks in that state who are absolutely fed up and feel voiceless. And, and to your point, uh, 13,000 additional homelessness uh, last year alone in California, 20,000 living on Skid Row in Los Angeles. It has become the mm -hmm. ultimate state of half and have nots because of these policies. And it's only getting worse. I moved here in 1985, and it was prosperous back then. It's only gone worse. It's gone right to the ground. Uh, if you go to Los Angeles, I can take you to some neighborhoods. It's just uh, devastation. Uh, and it's only getting worse because these policies from the liberals are killing the state. And they're killing—I mean, look at the worst cities in this country. They're ran by, they're ran by Democrats, and it's only going to get worse. This year, we have an important year. We have an election. You need to vote for guys like me. Vote, VoteAntonio.com. Go there and vote uh, and donate to my campaign, because we need to get our state back, even if it's one county at a time. Because the future of California is at stake right now. So right. if you care about America, let's take care of our, of our country. All right. I can tell you right now, though, if you guys do get a new California, I'm going to start the new New Jersey campaign next. Thank you both very much. <laughs> we'll Come, help you thank out, you, Thank you. Coming up, the mainstream media has